A developing story. A Carrollton woman just weeks away from having a new baby gunned down in her own home. Mm, investigators say it happened on Sunday. And what's more, the woman's two-year-old was home alone with the body for an entire day before family members discovered her. Now, Fox News' Claire Sims is live in Carrollton. And Claire, police are saying they still don't have a lot of details on this. Yeah, police just released a preliminary report this afternoon, but they say that they are still interviewing family and friends to try to piece together exactly what happened here and why someone would want to kill Nikita Holland. Sad, sad that somebody's that cold. Carrollton police call it a horrendous crime. Someone shot Nikita Holland inside her apartment just two weeks before she was due to give birth. Both Holland and her unborn child died at the scene. To make matters worse, investigators say Holland's two-year-old daughter was home at the time of the shooting and likely spent a full day alone with her mother's body before anyone discovered what happened. The bad part of this whole situation is there's kids involved and what this two-year-old child went through probably for 24 hours, you know, um, you just hope that, you know, she does not remember anything that later in life that could, you know, affect her. That's what bothers me the most. Family members got worried and went to the house to check on Holland Monday evening, only to discover the worst. Police believe someone shot Holland multiple times through this window in the back of the apartment. They found her face down on the floor of her bedroom. A tragic end for someone family members described as a happy person. Uh, even when she was sad, we always find something to laugh about. Marlon Johnson says he can't imagine who would want to harm his cousin. And those who knew Holland are still coping with this sudden loss. It just hurt. You know, anybody lose a close relative and a special person in their life. And she's been through it, man. Now, investigators tell us that this crime happened sometime between Saturday evening and Monday, and they're hoping that people in this neighborhood may have heard something or seen something and will come forward. We are live in Carrollton. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Claire.